Good evening, friend. Have you ever heard the tale of the castle of Otranto? First written by Horace Walpole in 1768, the castle of Otranto is one of the great ghost stories of the ages. In fact, many consider it the grandfather of all the Gothic horror stories. The castle of Otranto was built in the days of William the Conqueror, in the dismal courtyard, as high bleak turrets catch the sunlight. Ah, heir to this cursed castle, but a slave to its owner, my Uncle Manfred. I can't believe he wants me to marry a girl I've never seen, just because her noble family pleases him. I think I'd rather be dead, when suddenly... Justin, the young master, he's been crushed. It's the helmet of Alfonso, the castle's rightful lord, slain centuries ago by Manfred's ancestors, who took Odranto for themselves, and now his ghost walks again. As the servants reach the courtyard, the ghostly helmet vanishes. There's a curse on this castle. There's a curse on Manfred, too. He'll die just as his nephew did. We must bring Manfred word of what has happened, quickly. And do you expect me to grieve, you fools? My nephew hated me. As for Alfonso's ghost, pah, I fear not the long dead. This castle is mine. At that moment, approaching the castle. Is it a disgrace to be poor, Anne? Which is worse? to marry a stranger, or endure the ugliness of poverty. My lady, is it not best that you marry him? Poverty is a harsh taskmaster. Hmm, <laughs> she is beautiful indeed. I can sympathize with you, my dear. You came to marry a young man, but I flatter myself I still have the vigor of youth. Master, Alfonso's portrait has left its frame. It walks with death's scythe in its hand. Pay it no mind. I'll slash the canvas. Burn the frame. Isabella finds herself alone in the banquet hall. Can the castle really be haunted? If ever I saw terror in a man's eyes. Spare me, please. It was not I who drove a dagger into your heart and robbed you of what was yours. Your blood is on the head of a dead man, Manfred's ancestor. If you would live, then go. Ah! I've got to get out of this awful place. I can't find the entrance hall. It's a horrible dark maze of rooms leading nowhere. A wall panel, and it's ajar. Does it lead out or down under the house? These old castles are supposed to be full of underground crypts. There is a taint of death in the air. Can this passage lead to a burial vault? Ah! In the blackness, a hand lights the wick of a charred candle. You are lovelier than a sunset. I never thought to find beauty in Otranto. Who are you? My name is Theodore, and I... The vault's shaking. Alfonso's ghost must be moving about in the portrait gallery. I saw it. It spoke to me. At that instant, in the portrait gallery. There it goes, master. Back into its frame. It's Aaron. He's dead. Cut down by a scythe. Why does the ghost never attack you, master? I told you why, fool. I do not fear it. That girl. Where is she? The burial vault. So that's where she went. Bring torches. Hurry. I'm going after her. Voices in the vault. And who be you, sir? Living like a ghoul in the vault of my ancestors. Not your ancestors, Manfred. Mine. You dare to speak to me this way? For that, I will have your life. You should hold your temper when you fire a pistol, rogue. That's it. Hold him fast. 
He'll suffer for his insolence by torture. Be merciful, I beg you. He struck you only in defense of his life. Mercy from me? <laughs> How little you know of Manfred. As for you, we shall get to know each other better when we are wed, eh, girl? No, don't touch me. Then, out of the shadows. Turn and face me, Manfred. Your hour has come. And you, Theodore, who state that the honored dead of my family are your ancestors, hearken to me. All men of my line bear a mystic mark upon their bodies. Bear your shoulder, so that I may know the truth. I came to this castle knowing it was fully mine. See, I bear the seal of our house upon my flesh, an arrow speeding true to its mark. Then you are my heir. But as for you, my vengeance will be quickly satisfied. Die, Manfred. <coughs> Theodore, this castle would do you no good as an inheritance. It is stained with the blood and tears of the centuries. You must flee before my spirit leaves the earth forever, and I take this abomination with me. As Theodore and Isabella flee, a tremor shakes the earth, and the castle begins to crumble. Its mighty walls rush asunder, and the battlements crash to the plain. For an instant, brief as a dropped heartbeat, a ghostly shape looms against the clouds, grown to towering height, then it dims and vanishes. Later, by a quiet stream. Somehow, I'm glad the castle is gone. A man with wisdom in his head and strength in his arms can make his own way in the world. It's good just to be alive. Well, I'd say that tale was spooktacular. Wait, what's that? Alfonso, what are you doing here? I have come to remind the viewers to like, comment, and subscribe. And ring the bell. And ring the bell. Well, friend, until we meet again, I'll be seeing you. Thank you.